cross-border shipping is moving goods and products uh, across international borders. So somebody would use cross-border shipping, for example, out of Mexico, they would ship it into the U.S. It's a lot faster transit times, so they would use a carrier like us to, to transport it to the U.S you know, in, uh, in a shorter time frame. For us, when we're using cross-border shipping, it's gonna be, you know, whenever we have a customer that's either needing to ship something from the U.S. to, you know, either Mexico or Canada, or, you know, vice versa, so Canada to the U.S. or Mexico to the U.S. So when we do cross-border shipping, there's a lot of factors that play into this. Uh, like number one, paperwork, clearance, security. So a couple things is just gonna be the um, selection of the carrier base. Uh, making sure that's something they can do as far as cross-border because not every carrier can. Uh, another thing is just the customs broker um, as well as selecting, you know, again, the carrier, the broker, whoever it might be that has ties and relationships to um, all of these um, things that we need, the um, ease of getting the documentation, the carriers, um, the knowledge of the routes that we need to take. Most of the carriers request that we are CTPAT certified, the carriers as well as the, the shippers, and there is an extensive list of security uh, measures that they take through CTPAT, which they have to have to check to see if they have cameras, how they load their shipments, uh, where they're loading it, they're secured. Even the, the drivers that go pick up at facilities have to go through, through like a strenuous security to be able to even go into the shippers to pick up the loads as well. Like if you're a Canadian-based carrier, um, it's, a, it's a thing they they would have to pick up in Canada first before coming over into the U.S. and then as well as they'd have to pick up somewhere in the U.S. to go back over. Um, they can't they can't just cross the, the border and then pick up in the U.S. and then run. So it's those type of things like making sure we have those carriers that can do that as well as again like us like do they have the knowledge of which which area to cross? Um, do they have ties to customs brokerage? Um, do they have the proper insurance? Um, we also offer insurance for our customers as well because uh, in Mexico the, the carriers usually do not insure the, the, the shipments in, while it's in transit in Mexico. So we do offer extra insurance to insure the, the freight for safety reasons and, and measures so they, you know, their, their cargo will get from point A to point B safely. For us, tracking regardless whether it's domestic or cross-border is extremely important. Um, it just helps us make sure we always have visibility on our shipments for our customers to make sure we're always able to communicate um, and service it properly. Um, but one of the big things is crossing the border um, and that tracking is a lot of times it helps us know if there's delays at the border. Um, once they get across the border, we're able to tell where they're at. Um, you know, for instance, once they cross into Mexico, we want to be able to know where where they're at or if they cross into Canada or whatever, um, just so we can easily communicate and like everyone knows what's going on. Tracking, yes, is very, very important. Um, a lot of companies now are, are, are tracking in Mexico. Um, we also provide tracking for our customers as well. Um, we're also trying to implement uh, tracking devices we could put with the shipments so they could be tracked uh, that way as well. So it's very, very important to have tracking. We provide different ways and different tracking methods uh, through Responsive. We have a pretty good grasp of what we're needing to do, um, as well as we have a strong carrier base. That helps us have ties into you know, customs brokerage. Um, the carrier base we do use is very knowledgeable in what they need to be doing. Um, we have several customers that have freight coming in and out of what, you know, either Mexico or Canada. Um, and with that, we've been able to grow really good relationships with customs brokerages. Um, we understand which border access they need to cross just based on if a border is backed up. Um, so we're able to kind of help navigate those things. Just making sure that everything is, uh, all the information matches and making sure everybody's in, 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 in sync and communicate uh, all shipment details. So um, that's how we really make sure that everything goes smoothly, is making sure all parties, we have the communication and, and everything matches so we won't be held up at the border and uh, you know extend transit times. Responsive Logistics is capable of handling your freight regardless of the destination or the commodity. No importa el destino, o el, el tiempo crítico que tienen que entregar su carga aquí en Responsive Logistics. Manejamos sus embarques 
para que lleguen a su destino a tiempo y seguros. Together we deliver a higher standard.